Hey YouTubers, it's May the 17th and here I am at work, grateful for my job, but I wasn't really planning to be at work today. Today is the beginning of Capitol Hill weekend. Uh, the North American Religious Liberties Association, NARLA, to which I belong, has this weekend every year, an annual event, where uh, it starts on Thursday and goes through Saturday. We get there Thursday morning and are briefed on legislation before Congress that could affect religious liberty. And after the briefing, we go and, uh, well, we pray first, and then we go and we lobby to preserve religious liberty. Uh, after that, though, the whole day of lobbying Congress, they have a banquet. And this is, some people just come for the banquet. Uh, it's very, very nice, a good formal event, not well, semi-formal, I guess you'd say. But they have a harpist. They had one last year, and they have good food and a really interesting speaker. And I was really looking forward to it. But thankfully, in my last moments before I left, Reality intruded, and I realized I am in debt. <laughs> uh, the debt is not too bad, because I could send back what I bought and get 90% of what I paid for it, but I'd really like to keep it, so I'm going to try to pay it off. Plus, gas prices are over $3 a gallon. I mean, I mean, being in debt and no money, and who am I to go gallivanting off to D.C.? What was I thinking? <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be a lot of fun. Oh, well, I guess oh, well. to console myself, I have some good food. This is a crusty peasant bread seasoned with fresh rosemary for a rich flavor and aroma. Please excuse me while I chow down. On your family vacation, but this year you can't, and you're whining, and you're complaining, and you're you're crying in front of the uh, TV cameras because of the high price of gasoline. I had to share this, okay? Neil Bortz just did this complicated mathematical equation um, on the amount that it will cost more in gas to go on your same vacation this year as last year. $14 more for a family vacation for gas, and it's, it's the end of the world. You can't wait for CNN. Okay, saying, oh, it's, it's the gas price, you know, it's not that much more. Okay, but did he take into account the extra thousand dollars that it costs you all year to pay for these high gas prices all year? Yes, an extra thousand dollars because of these gas prices that you don't have to pay for the rest of your vacation. No, I don't think he's going to mention that, but I'll turn the radio back on just to find out. Thank you for letting me then. I'm calm. And no, he didn't mention it in that segment. Yeah, I'm definitely driving less than I did last year. I mean, by this time last year, I had already been to D.C. twice. I would go see my grandmother more often. I hardly ever get to go see her now. And I even go to a closer church more often. About half the time, I'm not going to the church where I'm a member. I go to a closer church. And thanks to Neil Bortz, I did the math and figured that if I always go to a closer church, It'll save me about $520 a year, $10 a week, to go to a closer church. And uh, that's a big jump to go from paying $260 a year to go to church to $520 a year to go to church, to go to that church, um, or extra, to go to that church. And I'm thinking, I'm definitely driving a lot less. The more I think about it, the more I realize how much I have quit consuming because of this. Books huge thing for me. I don't buy books anymore. Everything, anything from books to videos, they all come from the library. And eating out, uh, that uh, would be cut by 100%, except for things like Mother's Day that come up. And it's like 90%. I, I, a percent, I've cut that. I don't eat out. I haven't bought clothes from the mall since November. Thrift store. And I'm not planning to go on our family vacation this year. I can't afford to take off work. <laughs>